two pairs of chromosomes that are going to try and keep them the same size. So we'll do one in blue, then we'll do one set in green. And this will be the same cell that we start off with each way. We'll split it off going one di direction that way and one direction this way. For now, we'll go off in this direction, Oops. doing it as mitosis. Because really, here's the thing with mitosis. Once you see the key, like the tweak, the change between the two, you go, oh, that's how it is. And that's when I was in school, we had to memorize it. And basically, the teacher just said, uh, meiosis is mitosis twice. And you would go, just split it twice. But it always got, I got confused. And if I would have known about this one part, in my mind, maybe it was that I put pieces of the puzzle together later. If I would have known this, I think it would have made a little bit more sense. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention when she taught, OK? So here's the thing. I'm going to label this one right here. This is going to be a number one chromosome. And we'll say this is the one I got from dad. This is the other number one chromosome, because you get two pairs. And they say two pairs, or sorry, you, know, you have 23 pairs. And this reason they say pairs is because they're homologous chromosomes. So this is the other number one. But this is the one I got from mom. All right? And we can say the same thing with this. This is, we'll be only using two pairs. We'll say this is the number two from dad. And this is the number two from mom. Can you guys see okay in the back? Now, we said that you have the uh, 30,000 genes, and we have all these different things that genes do. And we use letter designations to say that this was the name of this gene, and then we'll say here's the phenotype that you get from that genotype. So I'm just going to say we're going to have one gene on each one of these chromosomes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say we're going to say that this person's genotype is um, big T, little t. They're heterozygous for height. They're heterozygous for height. We're not, I don't want to worry about that too much, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're also going to say that they're heterozygous for dark colored eyes. All right? They have, they're, since they're heterozygous, they're still going to have the dominant trait. So on this number one right here for dad, I'm going to say dad gave the dominant allele, and mom gave the recessive allele for the dark colored eyes. For the height, I'll say mom gave the tall allele, the dominant one, Dad gave the recessive one. But because the individual has one of each, they still have the dominant trait. Okay? Now, when we go through mitosis, we're going to end up going through, I'm going to skip some phases, we're going to end up going through um, replication. We're going to end up going through um, prophase where everything thickens up, and we don't have time, and we, don't, we shouldn't need to go over each one of these steps. And then we're going to work our way all the way till metaphase. And I want you to do this. Put a box around the end metaphase. Metaphase is the, the step in each one of these processes that you'll be able to go, oh, OK, that's where the big difference is. That's what the big difference is. So when we go through replication, we're going to end up having the double chromosomes. So they have that X shape that we talked about. We're going to do all the condensing and get through all that stuff. And then metaphase, what, what happens to the chromosomes? Where are you going to see them? Where? You're going to be lined up in the middle. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw our cell. Make it big enough that you can fit them all in. In fact, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. If you're not sure, wait a second, okay? Yes, okay, all right? So now watch. Here's my double chromosomes. I have the number twos on top, not that it really matters. ones in the bottom. Does 
So this is number two, mom. Number two, dad. Number one, mom. Number one, dad. So now on the number two that you got from mom, mom gave the tall allele. So I'm going to squeeze it in here. Big T, big T on both of those chromosomes now. Dad gave the, the short allele. So little T and little T on both of these. On the number one, dad gave the dominant allele. So I'm going to squeeze the big D right here and the big D right there on both chromosomes and mom gave the recessive light colored eye allele. So it's gonna be on both of those. Are we okay? Yes, no? Now what happens after this step? What happens after this step? The sister chromatids start splitting apart because this is identical to this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Why don't you make a little squiggly line all the way through it? We'll make an arrow over here, and we'll say anaphase because we're going to split up, and then we're going to end up going through telophase. They're going to separate. Everything's going to come back together again. Got it? What we're going to end up with, though, is you're going to end up with two cells. Two cells have four chromosomes each. Little D there, little D there, big D here, big D there, little T here, little T here, big T here, big T here. Okay, so if you compare this cell to these cells, they're identical. Okay, so we'll do this real quick. We'll label one more thing. We have four chromosomes. <coughs> Over here now you have two new cells equals four. Chromosomes each on the box side. Easy peasy, we're okay. Nothing hard with this. Zach, are we good with this? No problems. John, are we good? Okay. Now, so we're okay with mitosis. Can I erase this now? Got it? Let's go ahead and erase this. I'm going to go to the next step, okay? But I'm not going to erase this side. So it's mitosis twice with meiosis, basically, because they, the reason they said it is because you have two separate cell divisions, okay? And it actually goes to this. There's like what they call, you have prophase one, metaphase one, anaphase one, and then it ends up going to prophase two, metaphase two, anaphase two and so forth, okay? So I'm gonna start out with the same building product, and for you guys, you can do the arrow down. 
I'm just going to go straight out, and we're going to go through meiosis. And we're going to end up going through our replication. Prophase. And this is where the goofiness happens. I'm going to make myself a cell again. But it actually doesn't need to be that big, because you'll see what ends up happening. I used to have this activity that they would have them do, with where it says pair up the homologs. And I'd say, go and go ahead and put them together. Place them in order. Do all that other stuff. And this is the hardest part for them to get. They're like, what? But I've always learned mitosis like this. And the, 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 the double chromosomes line up in the middle. I'm like, they still line up in the middle, but they do something a little bit different. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put the, the homologs. Don't draw this yet. Double chromosomes. But instead of lining up in the middle, they pair up side by side. They're still lined up in the middle, but the homologs are paired next to each other. Don't draw any letters, don't do anything like that. Just go with this. And in fact, we can do, well, this is number one. Sorry, number two, number two, number one, number one. You can leave it like that. And then I'll show you the last little bit that will go, it'll be able to go, oh. Okay. You ready? back to this later, um, the letters, okay? But right now what we're going to do is we're going to finish the last part. We're going to go through all the pro steps of anaphase. I want you to think about one other thing. Before, when you drew the little line through here, we're going to draw, you would draw the line through here also. But when it goes to the next batch, they split up, they split up one more time. So let's go ahead and do this just really lightly. We're going to go make a line that goes like this. We're going to call this anaphase one. So they'll split, those homologs will separate from each other. And then I want to do one more thing. I want to draw another set of lines because these guys, sister chromatids, are also going to split when they do one other separation. They'll separate away from each other first, and then the sister chromatids will separate. I'm going to put a little bracket on the bottom. This will be from where this is anaphase one up here. Anaphase one. This will be anaphase two. When you're done, put your pencils down. So when we're, when we're done with both splits, we're still keeping the same amount of chromosomes to start off with. And I really don't want you to get confused with anaphase one, anaphase two, all these different things. But you guys have a working knowledge of that this stuff, and you know what happens during those times. So you know, if I say anaphase, you go, I know the sister chromatids are going to split apart. Well, we're doing it twice. So you have two anaphases, and you have two telophases, and you have two metaphases. Okay. What I want you to realize is when we get done, you're going to end up having exactly. You're going to end up having four cells. Because we get two splits, you're going to have not only half the number of chromosomes, but you're going to have four cells. All right? And I don't want you to draw any letters in these. Go ahead and put number one.
one, number two, number one, number two next to each one, okay? How many cells we have? How many? Okay, I want you to write this down. These are this only, listen, this only happens in cells in your gonads. Okay? Meaning this. I want you to, we're gonna put four new sex cells. Okay? And circle the word sex. So it's either going to be sperm or eggs. This is the only time this happens is when you're making either sperm cells or egg cells with respect to whatever your gender is, okay? With two chromosomes. So only have half as many. Last thing, you ready? Go to where it says meiosis. Go to where it says meiosis, anything? Draw a little stick figure. Meiosis happens right there. Okay? Are we alright with that? Tell her if you need to. Tell her like. Alright? Check and check. Alright? I told you not to draw letters because we're going to come back to that a little bit later. Alright? Go ahead and take out, you can stop recording. Take out that packet that you have.